Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Leo. Now, Leo, uh, you guys, first off, if you hear my dog making some coughing noises, it's okay. He's fine. Uh, as y'all already are aware, Bosco has quite a few health problems. I, he has a problem with his uh, trachea, so I just gave him a peel, so he should be fine here in just a moment. Um... So if you hear him, don't freak out. He's fine. Now, another thing that I wanted to add here is that I didn't want to leave the fire signs and the water signs out of the weekly just because I was late. Okay? Uh, so this is your your weekly reading, but there's not a date for it. It's when you hear these messages and watch this video... The next seven days is your forecast. All right. It goes with this reading. So, and honestly, that could be a month from now. If somebody stumbles across this, then that's when it's meant for you. Okay. And it applies for the seven days forward. All right. So if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me, go to the description box below the video and you can find out how to uh, be able to get a reading with me and I'm pretty flexible. I can get you in within 48 hours so If you're interested Go and take a look please keep in mind Leo that This reading right here is an intuitive reading. I channel many messages take what resonates leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? And I'm using the Tarot of Dreams for your uh, tarot reading. And I'm using this Oracle deck. I forgot the name of it, but you can screenshot that and uh, pull it up on Google. I, I would bet anything. <laughs> All right, Leo. Let's see what's going on. All right. So your situation for the next seven days is the Ten of Coins. In your foundation, what's driving you? A rebirth. You've got transformation here. What's benefiting you this week is the Nine of Wands. Yes. You've made it to the end of a cycle that was very, very hard. Now there's completion. What comes with that? Perseverance is rewards. In your crowning position, what you know, what you're thinking about. Three of Swords. Okay. Your outcome energy is the Five of Swords. Whew. Boy, I tell you what. Some of you are definitely going through a family uh, situation where it is just, wow. Heartbreaking. Okay. Um, you may have recently lost a loved one and now... It has caused huge, uh, it's caused a huge tower moment because you have someone here, I feel like, that is trying to keep you from something that you're supposed to have or they're not agreeing with, uh, I feel like, with your loved one's wishes about maybe the burial, uh, how they wanted things done. Or there, there's something here surrounding this that is just very toxic. And it's caused so much heartache. Uh, it definitely could be an inheritance as well. You guys, maybe a home or property that's involved. Um, this could just be, you know, right here. This going through the dark night of the soul. You've been on a journey and a path for so long. But you know what? You made it. And it's been heartbreaking. It's been hard. It was disappointing because, you know, when you face your shadow side, it is heartbreaking. You know, you realize and you uncover truths about yourself that aren't too nice. It's not very pretty. It's something that you don't even want to accept. But that's part of who you are. And that's why doing the inner work is so important, Leo. Okay? Now, from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, there you are, my favorite Queen in the tarot right there. <laughs> Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy right here. All right, so your 
overall energy is that pumped up go getter um you know i know what i want and i'm gonna get it and no one and nothing is going to stop me from achieving what it is that i want and desire okay you go this could be you uh, fixing to graduate from college maybe you're getting your degree your master's maybe this is trade school votech getting a certificate whatever it may be some of you this is definitely you're going into spiritual healing uh maybe reiki um maybe even a spiritual teacher okay you have a lot to offer people Leo, when you walk into a room, you heal people with your with your presence. I mean, it's like the sun. Being in the dark and all of a sudden, the sun just walked in the room. Okay, that's what you do. People, you know, depend on you. And for some of you that uh, have careers and jobs that if you didn't show up that day, people were going to have a bad day. You know, and they're literally saying, oh my goodness, Leo's late. If Leo doesn't show up, this day is going to suck okay that's what you bring to the table here you bring love light and powerful energy you're a powerful manifester okay uh, i see many of you maybe being an activist maybe um starting a business you know whatever it is that you are fixing to do you love it you have passion for it therefore you're on the right path and it's going to take care of you that means that your needs will be met. You will have more than enough. Okay? And you know this. You do know this. Now you have the Ten of Coins coming up here as your situation. You know, oftentimes this represents a great deal of money. Okay? Wealth, stability, security, family money. Okay? Uh, I definitely feel like there's family money that is being argued. That's uh, you know, it's just it's gotten out of hand. It's craziness. Um, but don't worry because this is a magical uh, ten of coins right here in this deck. Because this says as long as you believe in your heart that uh, and you trust in the magic within yourself, others, and everything that you see, okay, you feel. As long as you know that, everything will be taken care of, okay? It's not for you to worry. It will work out. What is meant to be yours will come to you, okay? That's your promise. For others of you, this is a family business here where maybe you just recently started. Maybe your business closed down and now you're restarting. Or you just lost a lot of sales. Or it's slowed down. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Because it's fixing to, boom, grow and expand. And I'm seeing the three. I'm seeing the empress in my mind's eye right now. And she represents material harvest, growth and expansion. Okay. Whew. Thank you, spirit. Now we have death, the energy of Scorpio coming through here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. You know, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Many of you have been on the dark night of the soul. You've been, you know, going within. You've definitely been doing, you know, life's work here. This is the greatest work you'll ever do, but it's very, very hard, challenging, and difficult, and draining, okay? Okay. It, but it's very rewarding you guys i promise you that you know and some of you are ending a season a cycle here and you're you know shifting you're going through a huge transformation at this time and it's allowing for you to close the door on what's no longer serving you and opening the door and taking a huge leap of faith you know into the unknown that's going to allow for you to have a lot of success that comes from your creativity leo thank you spirit it's a rebirth and then you have the nine of wands the wounded warrior coming up here in the position of what's benefiting you okay it's over you know you may have been 10 years in a toxic career relationship um you've been through a lot this can represent you've even been hurt physically wounded okay or, or emotionally or, or mentally but you didn't give up. You persevered. You moved forward. You pulled upon your inner strength. And you realized, whoa, I am tough. You are strong beyond measure. 
and that comes with rewards this is a reward that you have coming a blessing an opportunity that you have coming Bosco okay three of swords in your crowning position sorry you guys I know some of you listen to the headphones and they're probably like Bosco <laughs> I was checking on my dog <laughs> okay three of swords what you know you know heartbreak you know disappointment you know challenging difficult times because you've been through it okay you're wounded you're a warrior you're tough okay but you still have a broken heart you still are hurt someone has attacked you verbally okay because i'm going to read these two together because these go together someone wants to argue and have this conflict someone wants to say mean things that are not true just to feel like they have won this fight or they have something uh one up on you okay the upper hand you know a uh, type of energy and it's very painful maybe this is a you know someone trying to keep you from what is yours an inheritance you just lost you know someone who meant a lot to you uh, i feel like this for for two of you there was a death in your family may not even have had the funeral yet and you are still you know you haven't even wrapped your your head around what has taken place okay and then you have someone coming at you already attacking you telling you that um you're not getting this no um that was changed this is somebody that i feel like is an outsider okay and they're very greedy but it's going to work out don't allow yourself to partake in those energies and get down on their level but by no means now don't let someone overstep their boundary your boundaries and you know if you tell them to back off and they don't and they just won't stop then yes you have to stand your ground you have to speak your mind speak your truth but you know if you can walk away and just let this person look as foolish as as they're acting and and, and are I tell you what it you you'll save a lot of energy okay a lot of energy and it's not worth your time this person is just they're not going to succeed with what it is that they're trying to take from you keep from you okay so don't don't feed into it okay don't act a fool don't feed into it now Let's pull a couple of oracles here, Leo. Awakening. Courage. All right. Definitely confirmation for this dark night of the soul energy. Awakening. I am joyously awake and aware and ready for anything. That's right. You've got to be because you have a new beginning that uh, requires you to take that leap of faith, to take a positive, healthy risk on yourself, to believe in yourself, and just know that you're going to be guided every step of the way. You are leveling up. You're, you are spiritually, you know, your vibration is just getting higher and higher and higher, okay? And your communication with your guides, your angels, you're manifesting, and they are protecting you as well just know you have blessings and rewards coming your way okay courage i live life passionately and courageously look at that and you know leo you are the strength card in the major arcana which represents courage leo the lion okay so more confirmation right here you got this don't ever give up don't uh don't allow someone to run over you. Uh, stand up for yourself and your truth, okay? Um, you know, sometimes we have to stand up to people. And sometimes it's best to just step back and, and let them act a fool, okay? But you'll know what you have to do when that time comes or if it comes, okay? Just know that you are going to be the winner 
of this outcome in this situation okay all right leo i love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment you guys let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation your seven day forecast okay i send you all my love all my wishes all my blessings leo and i will see you back here tomorrow bye bye leo